Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is our first proper day in England. We arrived late yesterday afternoon from Singapore and oh, it took ages to get home and all the traffic and all of that. But um, this morning we woke up and we're raring to go and went grocery shopping and did probably one of the biggest grocery shops I've ever done. And I've got so many low carb keto finds. I was so excited and I was walking around everywhere and everything is so cheap compared to Australia. And my husband and I and the kids were just, we were just like kids in candy stores. I mean, the berry selection and the choice and the price, it is just amazing. And then the cheeses with being Christmas time, all the cheeses were out and I saw so many yummy cheeses and I bought loads, but I won't dawdle any longer let's get straight into it and i'll show you all my low carb keto finds that i found at tesco today i'll start with all my veggie finds first look at this cabbage and leek i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna do with it you can use it for stir fries or stews i was planning on maybe making a stew a nice warming stew so i may use that in that and <laughs> courgette spaghetti i know this is so easy to make but i think it was only a pound or two pounds i can't remember the prices that are on I'll oh, know, but yeah. Um, but I do know the price. This was only a pound. I couldn't believe it. Organic mushrooms, only a pound. Amazing. Um, some onions. I know we use those more sparingly on keto. Beetroot salad. Again, beetroot isn't really low carb keto, but little shredded bits of beetroot in that I thought would be fun. And some vegetable soup. I know I can make veggie soup myself, but we're only here for a couple of weeks and I do want to make it easy for myself and have some easy go-tos for meals. And having that as a base, I can make some veggie soup, maybe some meat in. We'll see. We'll, we'll get there. Um, now, as I said, all the berries were bought. We've got blackberries, strawberries, uh, blueberries, and raspberries. Two pound, two pound. And even the organic ones were only a pound couple of pound each I was just that's, that's so cheap at the moment in Australia even when they're in season it can be a couple that's four dollars for that that's that's kind of not the cheapest but but for raspberries it's four five six seven dollars it can be so two pound is pretty awesome and organic tomatoes again good low carb keto um, but in small amounts. Same with leeks, root vegetables. Leeks I tend to have in soups. And all of these, I think there's another one hiding under there. Yep, we're I think a pound or two pounds. So cheap. Um, and it's cheap compared to Australia, it's all relative. Um, spinach I got and a big head of broccoli. I may even make broccoli leek soup. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Um, and some peppers as well. Look at all these peppers. Um, so those were the fruit and veggies that I got. A nice big selection that will last us hopefully a few days. We're in London for a few days and then going to Oxford and then back again and so we're kind of all over the place. Um, but definitely um, <laughs> this will see us through and we've got lots going to be having loads of visitors and guests so I want to make maybe some a big berry salad or have some berries and cream. Oh, I'm not sure but yeah those are all our fruit and veg. I've got a small selection of meats because there's a few delis near where we're staying that have amazing ready-made um, salt beef and tongue and all of that and so we're definitely going to be buying some takeaway things but I want to make a massive stew. <laughs> I found it quite hysterical that it comes from New Zealand. I've come all the way here to have New Zealand lamb um, but yeah I just looked so nice and fatty and I thought it'd be so nice to make a big hearty stew with that and loads of the veggies I've got in the soup that the soup which I'll use more as a stock um, but that was the meat. Oh yep and we've got a couple more things. Meaty, we got these Viennas, some salami and some tongue so that's the kind of the meat that we've got and yeah I know some people are a bit squeamish about tongue I've grown up eating it absolutely love it and my husband he was like a kid please can I have two so we got two of them um and we got some duck fat I thought that was so cool duck fat to cook in um as well as butter which I use and some crushed garlic oh that's veggie as well I got some crushed garlic for flavor, I love my garlic, and oh, it only occurred to me when I saw the crushed garlic, I didn't get fresh garlic, so I just made it easy for myself. And now these two look pretty fancy. We're having a couple of family gatherings, and I thought it'd be really nice to have something. Look, it's got little toothpicks in them as well. They are, this one says Mediterranean, and that one is Pesto Passion. And the carbs in it are pretty incredible. 
um, per portion, per bite is 0.2 carbs. So if you're in the UK and low carb and keto and you can get to Tesco, I'm not sure if they have these all year round or if it's just a Christmas thing. It was with all of the Christmas cheese, so it may only be a Christmas thing, but um, definitely if you're in the UK at the moment, look for these they look so much fun and so yum um so yeah let's keep moving i'm just kind of all over the place um trivia i'm used to my stevia in australia so i'll see how this goes i want to make a couple of hot chocolates while i'm here definitely um and that's the sweet and i usually like stevia so mm, i'll see how i go and yeah i need my chocolate for hot chocolates so i got these tesco they were i think a pound each <gasps> my memory's not so good right now we're still also slightly jet lagged we woke up at about three o'clock this morning haven't gone back to sleep Everything's a bit hazy wavy for me. Okay, medium cheddar, some grated cheese. This a bit of an indulgence, two pound, all of these cheese. Um, but it was just a selection of different ones for us to try. And this was with all the Christmas cheese. Look at that. Fresh fringe. <laughs> I can't talk. French brie with truffle. I'm really struggling today. Okay. French brie with truffle. That salad's so yum as a yum, lovely brie. Um, some butter and solid butter. I know I've been loving my Kerrygold but it's organic this one and yeah definitely got that under there we've got some creme fraiche i love sour cream but i like they do a creme fraiche instead just that's what they had here and feta i might add into a salad double cream and cream cheese i love all my creaminess my kids love these baby bells so i couldn't resist getting and they had all different flavors i still want to try but i just start with those i've got double cream and i've got whipping cream which yeah it's not as wonderful and natural as d getting double cream but I'm, I'm we're, we're staying in an apartment we I don't know if I've got all kitchen things here so I really want to make it easy for myself um, and finally chia seeds I love having chia seeds like most days um I bought some yogurt for the boys and I might it's not low carb keto but I might just sneak a little bit of it with some, my chia and some berries oh I might just do chias chia berries whipped cream but when I pan back look at this i don't even know if i can fit it all in the frame it's a massive tesco haul all low carb keto goodies that i found it was so fun collecting all these goodies today and it's been really awesome filming it for you make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more yummy inspirations and leave a comment let me know what you thought of this haul and if you got any other uk low carb keto videos you'd like me to film I, we're only here for a couple of weeks and then we're moving to Ireland um, so I do want to try and experience and sample as much UK stuff as I can while I'm here so if you've got any requests let me know and I will look forward to reading your comments so thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon bye